Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a teleport pad on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So, if we just go into the game real quick, as you'll see, we'll just load right in. And if we walk right over to this teleport pad, it teleports us to the other one. And then if we walk on this one, it brings us back. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I want to show you how to actually make it. So the first thing we want to do is actually create our teleport pads. So I'm just going to create a new part and anchor it. And I'll make it blue just to make it look kind of cool. And I'll scale it down just like that. And so I'll just make it a square. We can just change the size. We'll make it 4x4. Four four. Now I'll just duplicate this and put another one over here. And maybe I'll just make this one red so we can distinguish them from each other. And now we have our actual teleport pads. So I'm just going to name each one of them teleport pad 1. And this one I'll name teleport pad 2. And now before we start scripting, I just want to explain something. So the way this script actually works is it has a 3 second cooldown. And each pad has its own script and it needs to be able to tell if the player just teleported within 3 seconds. So we need to create a variable and put that inside of the player's character. So the way I'm going to do that is add a plus right here. And I'm just going to say bool value. And we're going to name this currently teleporting. So after a player steps on the pad, we're going to set that to fall, or true. And then after three seconds, we'll set it to false so that they can teleport again. And I'm actually just going to put that under starter character scripts so it goes right in the character. So now that we have this done, we can actually create the script. So I'll just click plus right here and I'll create a regular script. And I'm just going to name this teleport script right there. And now we can actually get into coding. So the first thing that we want to do is actually define where the second pad is. The pad that we want to teleport the player to when they step on it, we want to tell the code what that is. So if we just say local and then pad2 equals, and since we're right now we're in this one, we want to get a reference to this. So we'll say game.workspace.teleportpad2 equals game.workspace.teleportpad2. And now we actually have the object that we want to teleport the player to. So now we actually need to get when the player touches the part. So if we just say script.parent, which is teleport pad one, dot touched, and then we'll connect that to a function, just like that. And then inside of that function, we're gonna get the part that touches, so touch part. So in this case, it would be like a hand, a leg, or any part inside of the player's character. And we'll pre press enter and it'll create the end for us. And now we just need to check to make sure it's a player and to make sure that they haven't teleported within the last three seconds. So we'll say if touch part, so if it exists, and touch part dot parent, which checks to see if it's inside of a model, and touch part dot parent dot humanoid, and this actually just does the check to see if it's actually a player, and touch part dot parent, which gets the player's character, since we already know it's a player, dot currently teleporting, which is that value we had in here earlier, is equal to false, right? Because we just want to make sure that they haven't teleported within the past three seconds. So we have that. So now we know it's player, they're ready to teleport. Now we actually need to do the teleporting. So just to have an easier reference, we'll define the character right here. So we'll just say local character equals touch part dot parent since that's the character model and then we actually want to just for efficient code we want to specify the teleport location so the C frame of this right here plus a little bit on the Y axis so that the player doesn't get stuck inside the pad when we teleport them so we'll just say local teleport location equals C frame dot new and then we just need to give the coordinates of this and a little bit more on the Y. So we'll say pad two dot C frame dot X. I'll say pad two dot C frame dot Y plus five. That's a little offset. And then pad two dot C frame dot Z. 
now we actually have the location of this, right, so that we can teleport the player here, no matter if the pad's here, 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 in the sky, wherever it is. And now we have that, so we actually just need to set the player's location, the location of their primary part to that teleport location. So we're just going to say character, colon, set primary part C frame, and then teleport location. Now we're actually going to get this value inside of the character. So we're just going to say local teleporting value equals character got currently teleporting. And I'll just show you what that looks like in the game if we go in. You'll see if we just go right under workspace and then we just select my character it'll say right here we have the value of currently teleporting so this box once if they teleported in the past three seconds that'll be ticked to true so that they won't teleport again but now we actually want to set that value so because we teleported them so teleport porting value equals true and now we're gonna wait three seconds because that's our offset in between teleports and actually we need to say value right there because it's a boolean value object and then we'll say teleporting value dot value equals false and I just realized we do have a small mistake in our code right here we say if touch part dot parent dot currently teleporting since it's a bool value as I was saying before we just need to add dot value right here okay and then we also just have to say currently instead of current that was my bad and then if we go into the game you'll see right here all we have to do is wait for it to load and then we're just gonna walk up to this blue pad and there we go it teleports us to the red pad now the reason this red pad doesn't teleport us back yet is because well first of all it hasn't been three seconds and second of all we don't even have a script in there yet so it's actually really easy to duplicate the script we only have to change one thing when we do so we're just press copy right on this right click copy and then teleport pad 2 we'll paste that into and now we're just going to say instead of pad2 equals game.workspace.pad2, we want to say it equals pad1. So game.workspace.pad1. And if we go in, you'll see, all we have to do is wait for it. And if we just step on the blue pad, it'll bring us over. And now if we wait three seconds and then step on the red pad, it'll bring us back. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the Pasteman link and the Roblox model link for the code shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you later.